How's it going everyone? It's me, it's Conchinsula, and welcome to another Pokemon Go discussion video. Today we are going to discuss the terrible state of premium boxes in the in-game shop. These boxes were the best value for your Poke coins in the past, but they have increasingly become worse and worse over time. I'm going to be talking about why these boxes deteriorated and why Niantic needs to fix this problem. Okay, so with that said, let's roll the intro and get right into it. So it goes without saying that the premium boxes in Pokemon Go have been getting worse and worse over the years. Now when I say premium boxes, I'm referring to those boxes of items that you see in the Poke Shop like the Ultra Box, Adventure Box, etc. Rather than buying premium items a la carte, you could get more for your buck by buying these boxes instead, as they would typically bundle items in a much more cost efficient way while also giving you a massive discount. For example, one of the earliest iterations of the Ultra Box gave you 12 Lucky Eggs, 24 Premium Raid Passes, 14 Star Pieces, and 10 Lure Modules. If you were to buy these items individually, you would be spending 5,760 Poke Coins, but this bundle would only cost you 1480. These kind of spectacular deals made these boxes extremely popular, and it was something that drove up players to spend real money in the game so that they would not miss out on them. Now, we haven't seen an Ultra Box as good as this one since it was in the game, and it really seems like the quality of the Ultra Box has drastically declined in value over time. Niantic either slowly reduced the amount of premium items within these boxes, or they would replace highly valued items like star pieces and incubators with less favorable items like berries and pokeballs. This decline in quality all culminated into the most recent set of premium boxes, which I think are the absolute worst boxes we've ever had. For this iteration of boxes, they completely gutted them of premium items and just filled them with pokeballs and berries. All of these items could be obtained for free with regular Pokestops, so it boggles the mind why Niantic had all three of the available boxes be primarily only these items. Now of course, one of the boxes are mostly premium items, and that is the hatch box. But this box is pretty much nearly a one for one comparison in terms of item value, so you aren't getting too much out of it. So yeah, relatively speaking, these boxes are absolute trash, and for anyone who buys them, they are pretty much wasting their hard earned Poke coins. Now I have a couple of ideas why these boxes even exist in the shop, and it's not a good look for Niantic. First of all, I think these boxes are Niantic, testing the waters on what players are willing to spend money on even if there isn't any inherent value. It's not the boxes themselves that they want to test, but the premium items that are not available within any of these boxes. For example, maybe they want to see if players would still buy raid passes even if they are not included in any bundles. Honestly, if this is true, it's not a good thing for the game. Players who want to raid will still buy these items even if there are no discounts or bundles. Obviously, those players will not be happy about it, but because of the FOMO nature of certain raid bosses, they will reluctantly do it anyway. This will give the false message to Niantic that they don't need to give players good value for their in-app purchasing in order to turn a profit. This would be incredibly harmful to the community and the game as a whole, as it will become much more egregious and predatory when it comes to its monetization. I really hope that players will catch on to this, and they will not spend any money or Poke coins in order to send the right message. Giving players value in order to encourage spending is always the right way to go. If you want to earn revenue, then respect the player's hard-earned dollars. Now another possible reason why Niantic has these boxes is because they want to see what kind of items players are actually looking for. Are players willing to spend for Pokeballs, or are they strictly interested in raid passes? They might be doing a temporary pass with these boxes in order to collect spending data. I guess I'm okay with this only if they were to do it correctly, which I don't think they are if this is the case. If you want to see spending data, then you need to have different kinds of boxes with different items at similar pricing points. Since Niantic didn't do that with these boxes, it leads me to believe this isn't the reason why these horrible boxes are currently in the game. Now the final reason, and probably the most likely scenario, is that Niantic is using these trash boxes as a precursor to some incredible Halloween boxes that are coming in October. 
Historically, October is a big spending month for Pokemon Go players. The spawns and raid bosses are typically highly desirable, and there is also typically a limited amount of time for you to get them. It's likely that Niantic is fully aware that more players are only willing to spend a ton of money on good value boxes. Whereas the earlier reason in this video would be more catered to the whales, this reason would be a more holistic approach. If more casual players are willing to spend money on the game whereas they wouldn't before, then Niantic's revenue ceiling would be much higher in theory. Now, one of the ways they could encourage those casual players to spend more money in a short given amount of time would be to increase the perceived value of what they are spending their money on. Since there has always been a pattern of high spending within October over September, Niantic is probably trying to ramp up the perceived value of the upcoming Halloween boxes by giving us really bad boxes right before hand. Casual players will certainly end up comparing the two sets of boxes, and since the Halloween boxes will have tons of value by comparison to these terrible September boxes, they will inevitably spend more money than they would have. This is something that I see with other games that have a similar monetization setup. They bring out bundles with terrible values right before a season where higher player spending is likely. Therefore, they can increase the perceived value of the bundles that they release during the specific time. It's pretty smart as a marketing tool, but I'm also skeptical that this is something Niantic would employ. Like I said, the inherent value of premium boxes have drastically declined over time. There's no guarantee that there could be a rebound in box value anytime soon. It's very possible that the value of the Halloween boxes could be even worse than what we have now, given the possible reasons that I laid out in this video. It's certainly possible that Niantic has completely disconnected themselves from the player experience and they are only interested in profits at this point. I mean, we did see the quiet removal of the weekly one Pokecoin box, which I think is a huge red flag that Niantic is going in this direction. I just hope Niantic is fully aware that these boxes are unacceptable and Pokemon Go players are not going to stick around if their hard-earned money is not respected. I've seen so many games crash and burn for this reason, and I would hate to see it happen to Pokemon Go as well. Case in point, Niantic needs to improve the quality of these boxes. We need to start seeing amazing boxes like what we've seen before, especially if they want more players to spend money in the game. Otherwise, players will likely just flat out quit, because the game is just not worth playing at that point. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Now I would love to know what you are thinking regarding these boxes in the comment section down below. Are you buying these horrible boxes or are you waiting out for something better? Let me know and let's have a great discussion. And if you end up enjoying this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, big or small, then be sure to check out the links in the description below. For all of my patrons, they get a permanent spot on my in-games friends list. So if you want to interact with me in some way, like with remote raids, then do consider becoming a patron on my Patreon. But yeah, that's going to be it. I'm Count Jensela. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.